one of those German safety blades. Kind of fun. Okay, so I give them this, they're well packaged. Cardboard on top. Okay, battery died. Right back. Wrapped in plastic. Got a plastic protective ring. A black shower cap. And then some packing foam. And then. Okay. There's the money shot. That's a sweet looking wheel. Um, the center cap. It is an APR center cap, but if you have a Volkswagen, um, you can put this center cap on it. And if you have an Audi, you can put that one on it. And if I didn't find the stock images, then that's just a weird shot. Really cool feature of these wheels. Let's bring this in. They've machined into the side where the tire seats or beads. Um, that's supposed to be non-slip. And as an aggressive driver, I have rolled tires off of rims before, so hopefully this holds up and is true to fashion. Let's see how they look from back there. Um, really not a whole lot to show other than that. Um, I think that was, I, I love the design of the wheel. It's super lightweight, it's included in the bottom of the box. This takes it uh, from 66.48 to 57.1, which, um, I might hold that up, you can see that. So, that, just seat nicely in there. And that is, you getting that? Yeah, this is nice. There is no play side to side, up, down in there. That is a quality built piece. I know if you run the cheap ones, you tend not to want to run aluminum because it can get beat up or misshapen, but I think this was made for this wheel, so I'm just going to run this instead of like a poly one. Um, and now the last test for this wheel, which is so exciting. How much does it weigh? When I was looking for wheels, I really wanted RPF ones, but I didn't want to go 9 inch wide, and that's the only way you can get a flat spoke wheel. So, and these are different. I like the design. I kind of like that this kicks in and doesn't just go straight. I don't know. It's, I think it's my, my favorite looking wheel right now. The HRE uh, 527s are also a really good looking wheel, but they were out of the budget. And I'm just going to hold one finger here. Just at 19.1. Uh, the website says 18.5. I'll give them that. Who knows? Okay. It's, it's a little heavier on this side than this side, so I'll weigh it this way too. You'll probably think there's a lopsided toddler on there, but 19.1 on that one could be a little inaccurate. But uh, film me, I think. For the money spent, they're really good. I got mine from Paul G at Supreme Power. I'll put his link there. Super cool guy to deal with. Very fast transaction, and these landed on my door in no time. Um, so, I don't know, that's it. I'm doing this video today because they're getting tires tomorrow. And then we're gonna re-weigh them with the tires. The tires I'm getting are supposed to weigh 21 pounds. So, we'll see how those work out. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, I 
just picked up my tires, gotten them mounted to the wheels. I went with, where is it? With some Baroom. Uh, Bravarius 3s, I think they're on the 5s now. I don't know if they're still making these, but you can still buy them. And it is a 225-4018, that's the stock size. I really didn't see a need to go wider on a daily. Um, one of the reasons I picked these tires, not for the sidewall, I promise you, I hate that the sidewall is so freaking busy. But, um, like I said, one of the reasons I picked these was because they're 21 pounds. So, I've got the home scale out here. Remember the tire, or the wheel was rated at 18 and a half. It weighed in at 19.1, so 0.6 over. Um, that should give us... Well, 40.5. So I'm going to see how this, see how much this does weigh. I'm really excited about this though. Okay, it's ready. Okay. 40.2 per corner. I believe the stock 17s with um, the same amount of tread, the 225 on the road were um, 43 so it's quite a bit of savings all around especially for a bigger wheel so I would love to get these mounted and show you what they look like on the car first but I am gonna have my friend ceramic coat them might do a video on that on a side note I did figure out a really good way to clean this this kind of disappointed uh, discount tire left a lot of the mounting grease on there it's pretty gross oh. What I've found is actually an interior trim removal tool. Just kind of fold this up in a rag. Just kind of run it around the edge. Let's see how gross this is. I have to hit it a few times, but. It works really good and just focus it helps get way down in there so I think that's gonna be a winning combo for all of them they all have it they all need it that one's a little better oh there it is but anyways hope you liked it and just over 40 pounds that's not too bad in my book my only beef with these wheels I don't even know if it'll show up on camera, but between the spokes, there's just a little less coverage. I don't know if you can see how that's darker gray and it kind of thins out. It's like they're only sprayed from one angle. So, and this side seems to be more fine. The narrow V, not as much stuck to it, so. There, sorry about that. Ah, you can't really see it. It's. It's a minimal beef, but it is something, if you do get a set of these, I would open them up and just inspect that and make sure it's okay before you go mounting them. I didn't do that. I was irresponsible because I was super excited to have nice wheels. spacers it's looking straight down on it I'm on a VWR uh, strut spring combo that wheel gap looks atrocious close up I don't know it's not terrible but I'm not happy with it the rear wheel gap is perfect for a daily in my opinion you see and uh I think I'm going to put 5 millimeter spacers on the back. I think that would look perfect. See, the further away you get, the less the 
less worse the wheel gap looks, but I still want to get that taken care of. It's the other side. Driver.